Hello YouTube land. We are once again going to do an unboxing, this time of a Scar Audio SDR 18D2 18 inch subwoofer. These just came in. Let's take a look. As always, joined by my kids. Hey kids. Hi. All right. These came in a big box from FedEx. All right, inside the box. We have another box. So it's a box in a box, kids. What do you think? Looks great. I love boxes. Yay! All right. He goes there. Okay. And of course, it's upside down. All right. So here is the box. Very nice. We've got some specs there. Also very nice. Let's open it up. White sticker, SCAR Audio. User manual, it looks like for the whole SDR series, got all the specs. <sighs> nice piece of cardboard to protect. It goes there. Ah, and the star of our show. That's a big speaker, y'all. All right. Where's this box go? Right over there. Back there. Okay. Let's get it out of the plastic. Okay, some of the first things we notice about the 18. First of all, it has a stamped steel frame. Of course, we know that a real subwoofer has a cast aluminum frame. This one is stamped. I don't like that very much. Second, paper cone. Yeah, it's not super stiff. Of course, we love to see like a fiberglass reinforced cone, a Kevlar impregnated paper cone, maybe even aluminum cone. Sometimes even carbon fiber on the cone or the dust cap. This dust cap, plastic. That's, that's number two. Third thing, foam surround. It's got this big old foam surround. Of course, foam surrounds, they are bound to eventually degrade and break down, especially in very hot or very cold environments like you get in a car. Number three, the foam surround. I would much prefer to see rubber. Fourth, the voice coil. It's a two and a half inch voice coil in there, which is much smaller than we'd like to see for an 18. Typically I'd look for a four inch voice coil as the motor driving a big cone like that. Two and a half, I don't think it's great. Fifth, the sensitivity is rated at 86.7 decibels for one watt, one meter. That is not great, especially for an 18. I would love to see 88, 89, or into the 90s. Um, yeah. Sixth, it has a single spider, not super stiff suspension on this thing. Hmm. And yet, even with sort of a loose suspension, the sensitivity is still not great. Probably on account of that small voice coil. Seventh, the rated X Max on this is 13 and a half millimeters. They put this giant bumped foam surround on this like it would excurt two inches out. But in reality, the maximum excursion is half what you would find on a really good sub. Eighth, a 97 ounce magnet. 
That is not a huge magnet to provide the energy for the motor for a cone this big, guys. You would usually expect to see on a 12 or a 15, let alone an 18, something more like 180 ounce, 200 ounce, 220 ounce plus at a minimum. Ninth, power handling is 600 watts RMS. Not a lot for an 18 inch sub. Tenth, I don't like the glue job very much on this dust cap. It looks like it slid while they were gluing it in. Yeah, I don't love the looks of that. So that's 10 things I hate about this subwoofer. So I guess that raises the question, why did I buy one? Well, actually guys, I didn't buy one. I bought four, and here's why. I've got four 18s behind me in the theater setup that need replacing, and these 18s are $119 shipped at the time of this video. Which honestly is probably the best deal I could find in subwoofers in the world today. And uh, I'm not going to be feeding them a whole ton of power. They'll get about 300, 400 watts each. And honestly, I think they'll do just fine. And at the price point, I don't think you can beat it. So that is 10 things I hate about my SCAR 18 subs. And the one thing that I love. Thanks for watching.